It's not looking good, Undead Unluck fans. It's not looking good at all. The entire manga community for the series has had a meltdown. We're not just talking about the Western fan base, we're even talking about the Japanese fan base as well, collectively talking about how they're in fear of the series getting axed. And so, let's talk about how we got here. Yesterday's chapter that came out was something that initiated the final fight. And I'm going to try to make this video as spoiler-free as possible, so forgive me if I leave a few things out. But the point of the matter is, is that the final fight has been initiated, and there is a possibility that this could be a fake-out. There is a possibility of that. But, to be fair, Undead Unluck is not popular. And before you try to burn me at the stake, hear me out, okay? Undead Unluck got an anime by David Productions. Really good show. Really good anime. Loved it. However, it's very clear that it didn't get as much of a reception as I think it should have gotten. I didn't see nowhere near the amount of people talking about it as other series when it was airing. On top of that, the rankings of Undead Unluck in the magazine is really, really poor. Now, you could take this however you want, but when a placement of a manga within the Shonen Jump magazine is in the lower end, for instance, it's like, you know, 17, 19, 20, etc., you get the point, it's like at the back of the magazine, that means that the manga isn't doing that well within Shonen Jump. They're putting more priority on other series that are doing a lot better for their viewership. Undead and Luck has always been a very niche story. It's never been overwhelmingly popular, gonna be blunt there, it's been good, it's excellent, anyone that reads Undead Unluck, I think collectively agrees, it's a great story, great writing, one of the best offers, I think, in Weekly Shonen Jump, hands down, it's like no competition, I've never really been honestly disappointed with Undead Unluck, like, it's, it's writing is absolutely immaculate, but the thing is, it's not popular in Japan, it's not, the rankings prove that alone. It's been like this for a very long time, and when you have your rankings continuously go down like this, it reminds me a lot of Torico. Now, you probably might not be aware of this, because I know a lot of people that now read manga or watch anime are probably completely unaware of what this even is, who Torico even is, what is its significance for manga in general. Well, around 2015, 2016, Torico was heavily being pushed by Toei Animation and Shueisha, aka Shonen Jump, to be the next big thing. They had multiple crossovers with it, like they had a crossover with One Piece, and then eventually they had a crossover with Goku from Dragon Ball. We had all the cast of characters from all three series basically in multiple crossover episodes. And it was very obvious the reason why this was done was to push the brand Toriko and make it very popular, the next best thing. I mean, even looking at the very design of Toriko, he gives off this vibe of like I look like Goku now take that however you will but they heavily pushed Toriko and it lasted for hundreds of chapters now legitimately Toriko was a good story it was but in its final segments it was very clear that Shonen Jump had enough is enough they were done with it and they brought down the axe and the series quickly had to swiftly conclude everything it was very apparent to the fans of the manga and it seems like in more or less that exact same thing is happening now to Undead Unluck because of the initiation of this final fight. The rankings have not been good, the anime obviously didn't give it a boost of popularity that it obviously needed, and because of that, it's just like, at this point in time, you know the, the bigwigs, the, the CEOs, the people with the suits on, they're probably very upset with the performance of Undead Unluck. Even if it's always been a very niche series and it's potentially never done that well, the thing is, is that if it doesn't get a boost in popularity after a stellar anime, then obviously they might want to cut their losses. Now, I'm not saying that the story or the writing of Undead Unluck is bad. I'm not saying that. It's one of the best manga in Shonen Jump, hands down. I'm going to say it right now. But it doesn't change the fact that rankings matter, and if the Japanese don't like it, and it continuously gets pushed back to the magazine, it's going to get axed. So, the potential fear of it being cancelled, so to speak, is definitely possible. Now, obviously, this could be a complete fake out because I do want to bring some attention to some things. For one, a long time ago, I think it was, um, 
It was the spring arc. The spring arc for Undead Unlock. We were led to believe at the end of that arc that the series was potentially ending. Like, it, it had, like, everything kind of set up to kind of conclude the story. Like, all pro uh, plot threads and everything. And obviously, the ending kind of pulled uh, the rug from underneath us. And we were revealed to multiple more chapters. So, it is definitely possible this could be a fake out by the author themselves doing this. But, I'm led to believe it's not necessarily the case. Especially since we're led to believe that, like, Master Rules was skipped and we're getting right into Ragnarok. There, there's a lot of things that's just legitimately uneasy about the situation. So what's next for Undead Unlock? Well, we gotta look at the current state of Shonen Jump and how it's in critical disarray. With the recent conclusion of My Hero Academia about a month to two months now, to Jujutsu Kaisen concluding in literally this upcoming weekend, you know, Shonen Jump definitely is probably scrambling around, really trying to find out what could be the next big thing. Obviously, there's a lot of new manga coming into the magazine, like Ichi and all that, and they, they definitely want to find a series that will stick, hit the wall and get a massive fan base. Now, people obviously right now will cite that maybe Kagura Bachi will be the next big thing. Obviously, One Piece is still around, but it's only a matter of time until One Piece eventually will leave the magazine. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but I think everybody at this point in time that is definitely a One Piece reader sees the writing on the wall. One Piece is reaching its conclusion soon. Like, it's not going to be there in a few years probably from now. About three to four years, One Piece probably will be truly wrapping itself up. But pushing that hypothetical aside, the point is, is that Shonen Jump definitely needs a new series. Because if they don't have good series that's able to retain audience and allow more people to continue to come in and read the series in their magazine, they're losing money. They are suits, they are businessmen, they are trying to sell a product. So, you're probably wondering to yourself, why does this, or what does this mean for, like, Undead Unluck? Why would they want to axe the series or cancel the series if they obviously need a home run series or a series that is able to drag in more audience or viewership? Well, this is very related to what I just talked about. With the rankings of Undead Unluck obviously not doing well in the magazine, they're pushing it to the back of the magazine itself, you know, they're probably thinking to themselves, let's just free up a slot and hopefully a series can come in that potentially could do a lot better with our core audiences than Undead Unluck is currently doing. So that's more or less what I think the reason could potentially be if we are indeed getting a cancellation slash axing of Undead Unluck. But regardless of the hypotheticals, the theories, whatever may happen, you know, I do think that Undead Unluck is a very niche series, and it definitely feels like it is getting close to its conclusion. It's always been fast-paced here and there throughout its arcs, but with the revelation of the latest chapter, I do think that the fear is a little bit warranted, because especially after what we have seen with the last few series that have recently ended in Shonen Jump, to My Hero Academia, and now currently Jujutsu Kaisen, and I think anyone that has kind of kept their, uh, attention on the manga community for the past few months definitely have seen what people think or feel about these given manga so yeah anyways i'll wrap it up here just wanted to talk about this subject because i've been seeing a lot of it a lot of doom posting a lot of conversation around it so i kind of wanted to weigh in on the entire subject but okay thank you so much be safe stay healthy and i love you guys chibi out